Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A week or two ago, I posted a Photoshop video. It was called Mimic the Color Grading of a Photo Using Photoshop. That video turned out to be one of my more popular videos over the past couple weeks. In that video, I demonstrated how you could take the photo from one of your favorite photographers and extract the color gradient from it, then use that color gradient on your own photo. And I was actually kind of surprised how popular that video was. Now in that video, um, it was relatively long and I left one thing out that may help you do this in the future. And I want to cover that in this video. Now in this video, and I'll have a link to this video if you haven't seen it in the description below. Also a little flag will pop up over here in the top right in case you want to watch it. Uh, in that video, I mentioned that you could take an image from your uh, photographer you really like, and you could go over to this website, color.adobe.com, and I'll have this linked in the description below the video as well. And you could go to Extract Theme, and you could put their image here, and then it will extract uh, the color theme for you. Well, right next to it is another link called Extract Gradient. And I didn't talk about this at all. And a couple people mentioned that you could go here and do a similar uh, process and get a gradient that you could use on your image. And I want to demonstrate how to use this, this part that I didn't cover in that video. Now, for the demonstration, I downloaded a couple movie stills because movies often have great color gradients and things that you may want to use in your images, colors you may want to use in your images. Now this image is a still from the movie Pan's Labyrinth. I really love the color gradient in this entire movie. I thought it was spectacular. Another movie that I really liked the color gradient was The Dark Knight. So I tried both of these and it turned out Pan's Labyrinth just turned out better for the specific image I want to apply the gradient to. This one, this is just an image from New York City that I took. So I want to put this Pan's Labyrinth image in here to extract the gradient. So I'm going to go to Select File, and it's right here, Pan's Labyrinth, and I'm going to click Open. And it, you can see it's not a super high resolution image. And by default, when you put an image in the Extract Gradient uh, tool that is part of your um, Adobe subscription, Creative Cloud subscription, you'll get a gradient stop of three. So you're going to get three color gradients and you're going to get this, or three colors, and it's going to be uh, graduated as you see here. Now you could increase or decrease the number of stops. You could go from two all the way up to 15, but by default, it's on three. Now what I found uh, an easier way than trying to slide this little slider is if you just hover over the slider and click on it, it will add a gradient stop um, each time you click. So I'll click, and now there's four, and there's five, oops, there's, there we go, there's five, and there's six, and so on. And then you could um, decide what do you think works best. Now I'm going to reset it, and I'm just gonna use the three. I think the three are fine. And then what you would do is go over here to save. Now again, you need a Creative Cloud subscription for this to work because it's saving it to your Creative Cloud. Now we'll go over to Photoshop and we want to add a gradient map to this. And um, you saw before in the other video, I went down here to this little circle and you could go there. You could also go up to your uh, adjustment layers right here and you could click on the gradient map, which is that icon right there. And of course it adds one right away and we don't want to add that. But we need to add the gradient we just, just created. Now that's in our library. So if we go over here to the library and let that open, you can see there it is right there. Now all you need to do, you can see it says it's gradient pans labyrinth linear. Now all we'll need to do is right click on it and you're going to create a gradient preset. All right, do that. And we're going to give it a name and I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Oops. 
Pan's Labyrinth. And I'm going to click OK. All right, now we created the preset. It's on here. Click right on the gradient here. And you can see our gradient editor comes up, and there's the presets. If we go down to the bottom, there it is right there. So I'll click on it to apply it. And you can see it looks hideous. That's OK. We're going to click OK. So now we applied this gradient we just copied from that still image. We're going to uh, change the blend mode of the gradient map layer to overlay or soft light. I like soft light. And then I'm going to bring opacity down a touch. And I'll turn it off and on to test. There's before, there's after. I prefer a little bit more of a subtle look for this image. But that's very easily how you could use the tools that are available with your Creative Cloud subscription to extract a gradient from a movie still like I just did, or maybe from your favorite photographer. And that's it. I hope this um, helps you develop a style that works for you. Again, I don't um, advocate like copying, a direct copy from another photographer, but hopefully this uh, gets you involved in using gradients and gradient maps, and then you could develop something that really works for you. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.